Secretary Austin has said uh, a number of times uh, that he believes in the importance of open lines of communication with the PRC, and we have sought to build out those open lines of communication. Unfortunately, and, and separate just from this uh, question of Shangri-La, and I will get to that in just a minute, uh, we've had a lot of difficulty uh, in terms of when we have uh, proposed phone calls, proposed meetings, dialogues, whether that's the secretary, Chairman Milley, Admiral Aquilino, DASD Chase, uh, other both civilian and uniformed engagements, uh, we have had uh, repeatedly have had those requests rejected or not answered. So uh, we have had, an, we, the United States and the Department of Defense have had an outstretched hand uh, on this question of military to military engagement and we, and we have yet to have had uh, a consistently willing partner. As it relates to Shangri-La in particular, uh, as you have, I'm sure, read, several weeks ago, uh, Secretary Austin um, and the Department of Defense initiated a request uh, to meet with uh, General Lee. Uh, that request has not been answered one way or another. Uh, we are aware of uh, what the PRC has said about the fact that General Lee is under CATSA sanctions. Um, what is uh, indisputable is that those CATSA sanctions have no legal or technical bearing on whether or not General Lee is able to meet with Secretary Austin uh, in Shangri-La, so that is not uh, the prohibition, and frankly, uh, the ball's in their court at this point. So we're going out to Shangri-La to hear uh, from a lot of allies and partners uh, and have open lines of communication uh, with leaders throughout the region. We think that's really important, and we think it's important uh, with the PRC as well, and uh, we hope they feel the same way, and we're still waiting to hear back.